Divorce is never easy for anyone, and it can only make things more difficult when your divorce is the subject of countless news items, interviews, and conjecture, such as the case for celebrities who often have their personal lives already analyzed and scrutinized constantly. But when you add into the mix an expensive or messy divorce, the attention grows exponentially. Join Factsverse as we go over some of the biggest celebrity divorce settlements. Garth Brooks and Sandy Maul Garth Brooks is one of the most successful country music stars of all time, but that didn't make him immune to struggling through a rough and highly publicized divorce. He's been married twice, and his divorce from his first wife, Sandy Maul, was one of the most talked about divorces in the entertainment industry. Brooks and Maul were high school sweethearts and got married in 1986. They have three daughters together, Taylor, August, and Allie. Despite being married for over a decade, the couple faced several issues as their marriage progressed. Brooks's music career was soaring, and he was on the road for most of the year, leaving Maul alone with their children. The long distance took a toll on their relationship, and the couple grew apart. In 1999, Brooks and Maul announced their separation, and their divorce was finalized in December of the same year. The divorce settlement was one of the most expensive in the industry, with Maul receiving a reported $125 million in assets, including a ranch in Oklahoma and a mansion in Nashville. It was a significant blow to Brooks, who was known for his dedication to his family. In several interviews, he's spoken about how the divorce affected him emotionally and how it impacted his music. Brooks took a break from music after the divorce and focused on raising his daughters. He married Trisha Yearwood in 2005 and they've been together ever since. Despite the difficult divorce, Brooks and Maul maintained a friendly relationship for the sake of their kids. In an interview with Good Morning America, Brooks said, quote, We're family. We're forever going to be family, and that's cool. It's just that simple. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt The divorce of Brangelina has been perhaps one of the most talked about splits in Hollywood history. This is no doubt because of the star power each one of them has, as well as the amount of money potentially involved. But it's also made more complicated by the number of children they have as well as allegations of abuse that were put forwards towards Pitt after an incident on a private plane. Plus, the proceedings have taken so many years, it seems like it'll never be complete. The pair were together for more than 10 years and then married for two. But they filed for divorce in 2016 and have been in a wild legal battle ever since. The two have three biological kids together and another three whom they've adopted. The process has no doubt put a strain on the lives of these children, and media reports have speculated that there's been pressure on them to pick sides between the famous couple. And when the abuse allegations are added in, the kids are likely torn about how to move forward. Pitt has struggled with addiction issues, though is reportedly clean and sober now. If public photos are to be believed, it seems as if both parents have made it a priority to see and help their kids move through childhood despite not being together as a celebrity couple any longer. Estimates of the value of their assets being sorted through in the divorce range up to $400 million. Tiger Woods and Elon Nordegren As one of the most famous and successful pro golfers of all time, Tiger Woods' personal life was already a focus of tabloids and fans all over the world. And this only increased when, in 2009, Several women came forward claiming to have had affairs with him. This scandal led to the eventual disillusion of his marriage to Elon Nordegren. Woods and Nordegren were married in 2004 and had two children together. But when it broke that Woods had been involved in multiple extramarital affairs, it quickly became a major news story and was covered extensively by the media. In the wake of this scandal, Woods took a break from golf and sought treatment for sex addiction. Meanwhile, Nordegren filed for divorce in December 2009, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce was finalized in August of 2010. The terms of the divorce settlement weren't disclosed, but it was reported that Nordegren received a significant amount of money. Some estimates put the settlement at around $100 million. She also reportedly receives monthly child support payments of around $20,000. She also kept their home in Windermere, though she ended up selling that home before too long. Since the divorce, Woods has continued to play golf at a high level, including his recent comeback from a near-fatal car accident. He's also been involved in several high-profile relationships, including with Olympic skier Lindsey Vaughn and restaurant manager Erica Herman. Kevin Costner and Cindy Silva 
Kevin Costner has been an A-list actor and director for over four decades. He has starred in numerous successful films, including Dances with Wolves, The Bodyguard, and Field of Dreams. And his recent turn as the lead in the hit show Yellowstone has further solidified his star power. But Costner's personal life has not always been smooth sailing. He was married to Cindy Silva, his college sweetheart, for 16 years. The couple met while studying at Cal State University, Fullerton, and got married in 1978. They have three children together, Annie, Lily, and Joe. But in 1994, they announced their separation and the divorce was finalized in 1995. The reasons for the split were not disclosed, but it was reported the couple had been having problems for some time. According to some reports, the divorce cost Costner somewhere in the range of $80 million. He went on to marry his current wife, Christine Baumgartner, in 2004. They have three children together and have been married for almost 20 years. Despite the end of his first marriage, Costner has remained on good terms with Silva. In fact, he even thanked her during his acceptance speech for the Best Director Oscar for Dances with Wolves in 1991. So while his divorce was undoubtedly difficult, he has since moved on and built a successful career and happy family life. Steven Spielberg and Amy Irving Steven Spielberg's epic career as a writer and director has spanned more than five decades, but his personal life has had its ups and downs, including a high-profile divorce from actress Amy Irving. Spielberg and Irving first met in the late 70s and began dating soon after. They got married in 1985 and had a son together, Max. But the marriage was short-lived, and the couple separated just four years later. The divorce proceedings were highly publicized and became a major news story at the time. One of the main points of contention was a prenuptial agreement that the couple had signed before getting married. Irving challenged the validity of the agreement, arguing it was unfair and that she had been coerced into signing it. After a lengthy legal battle, Irving was eventually awarded a settlement of $100 million. This was one of the largest divorce settlements in Hollywood history at the time. Despite the acrimonious divorce, Spielberg and Irving have remained on good terms and have even worked together on several projects. Harrison Ford and Melissa Matheson Perhaps given the cantankerous roles Harrison Ford plays like Han Solo and Indiana Jones, it might not come as too much of a surprise that he would struggle through at least one relationship. In the late 70s, he married screenwriter Melissa Matheson, with whom he had two children. But after more than a decade of marriage, the couple divorced in 2004. The reasons for the divorce weren't made public, but it was reported the couple had been having problems for some time. One of the main issues was said to be Ford's reluctance to commit to the marriage and settle down in one place. Matheson was a successful screenwriter in her own right, best known for writing the screenplay for E.T. She continued to work after the divorce and went on to write several other successful films, including The Black Stallion and Kundun. They remained on good terms until her death in 2015. Ford paid tribute to her in an interview with Entertainment Weekly in 2015, saying she was a remarkable person and a very talented writer. Ford moved on and married actress Callista Flockhart, and the two have been happily married for more than a decade. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these celebrity divorces did you follow when it was in the news? Let us know in the comments section below.